Welcome back. In this video, I will be talking about the cerebellum and I'll try to cover everything that you need to know for your step one exam. So the cerebellum have three peduncles indicated here by the red lines. We have the superior peduncle, the middle peduncle, and the inferior peduncle. Let us see how the brain and the body reacts with the cerebellum. At start, all motor signals will be initiated in the primary motor cortex. This motor signal will travel to the contralateral body and contralateral cerebellum using the middle peduncle. So the contralateral cortex will command the body to initiate the movement and will also inform the cerebellum about the motor plan. Now the cerebellum will use the inferior peduncle to take signals from the ipsilateral side of the body to see how the movement was executed and compared with the motor plan. Afterwards, if any modification is needed, it will use the superior peduncle to tell the contralateral cortex what to modify. To recap, the movement starts in the contralateral cortex, the primary motor cortex, and it will travel to the body and will also give the motor plan to the cerebellum using the middle peduncle. The cerebellum will use the inferior peduncle to compare the ipsilateral movement of the body with the motor plan and will use the superior peduncle to tell the motor cortex about the modification. The cerebellum have got four main nuclei, and any signal that want to travel from the cerebellum to the contralateral cortex, it must pass through all these four nuclei in order. The signal will start in dentate nucleus, and then it will move to the umbiliform nucleus, and then the globus nucleus, and then the vestigial nuclei, then it will travel to the superior peduncle, where it will go to the contralateral cortex. To remember the order of these nuclei, remember this nominic. Don't eat greasy food. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you and see you guys later.